Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been like six or seven months actually when my uh, exchange ended. But actually I'm going back to Hong Kong tomorrow to do my internship. Uh, and I'm super super excited to go back. I enjoyed my exchange a lot and the city was after the first culture shock, it was amazing and I cannot wait to go back. So during my exchange, I made a list of all the things that I found a bit weird or things that I did not expect at all about Hong Kong. So now I just quickly wanted to tell you guys about all of those things. And if you find some of these things a bit offensive, I'm sorry, I it's, that's not um, my intention. This is just how I experienced the city and the different culture that I'm used to. Okay, number one. Let's start with the most obvious one, which is the fact that Hong Kong was a super expensive city. Of course, I knew that it was expensive, but I had no idea how expensive. Like, for example, in a restaurant or a bar, you could easily pay like over 10 euros for a beer. At first, it was really shocking. I remember wondering like, holy shit, like I'm gonna lose all my money here, well, which I did also. But then at some point you kind of got used to it and you were like, oh, okay. The second thing was really weird. This was maybe the most shocking thing, uh, at least in the beginning. And not only to me, but I remember asking or talking about this to many other exchange students too. And they were also uh, just as shocked as I was. So the second thing is that many of the locals don't really speak English um, at all. Or if they do, the level of English is really poor. And I did not expect that at all. I was expecting everyone to speak English just like in Finland, but this was not the case. And it was really hard at first when you couldn't even communicate with some people at all. But once you got over it, uh, it didn't bother me that much. Number three is the fact that cars do not stop uh, when people are crossing the street. So you have to be really careful when walking there. This is not common at all in Finland because when there is someone walking on the street, you stop the car, but not in Hong Kong. And I remember I almost got hit by a car really bad when I was walking. I was in the middle of the road and I thought the car would stop but he just kept going so I had to like jump and save myself. Number four, my favorite topic, partying. Hong Kong is a big city but for some reason all the bars are located in only one place which is LKF. Of course there were bars also in TST for example but most of the bars and clubs were located in LKF and I am not sure sure how I feel about that. It was cool at first but then it got really boring after a while and it's really overwhelming actually to walk around there and hearing the loud music only in this one area and it's it's kind of a mayhem in LKF every single night uh, but yeah I was I was expecting more bars and clubs around the whole city and not just in in one spot finally the last thing I want to mention is the food which I did not like that much especially in the beginning the Chinese food is not the same Chinese food we have here of course I tried many things but I did not enjoy them that much However, I did enjoy eating dim sum. And one last thing about the restaurants, which I found weird, was that food never arrived at the same time. I felt like the waiters brought the food to the table like as soon as they were ready in the kitchen. And by the time I was finished with my food, a friend of mine just got her plate on the table. So that was a bit weird as well. Okay guys, like I said, this was a really short video about the things that I found a bit weird in Hong Kong, but still I'm going back there, so it wasn't something that I cannot deal with. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye. Peace. <laughs>